Thousands are expected to come out to Kings Island this weekend for the annual walk to help fun, find a cure, fund a cure for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Medical reporter Liz Bonus introduces us to a team really stepping it up in today's Medical Edge. For nearly a decade, Delaney Walker has had big dreams of becoming an Irish dancer. As you can see, she is well on her way. Practice sessions with the dream team, you might say, are often three hours a day, seven days a week. I love it. What do you love about it? I love it just because it's different and you get to meet a lot of new people from like all around the world. She does all this, however, with some unique challenges. She's wearing an insulin pump and something that helps her better manage her blood sugars. And that's because she was diagnosed with what's called juvenile diabetes. The disease, which is also called type 1 diabetes, requires multiple blood tests each day. Those blood sugar levels can swing high or low very quickly. Probably the biggest challenge for children living with type 1 um, is the fear. It's something that we don't like to talk about a lot. Melissa Newman says they'd rather just do something about it. She is the executive director for the Juvenile Diabetes Research Foundation. Delaney's Dream is a team which has raised $12,000 for them to help fund a cure. <laughs> Friends say Delaney's spunk and spirit inspires them many days to keep going. It does, yeah. and it really gives you perspective. Perspective. For the old saying, the thousand-mile journey begins, you got it, with one step. At McGing Irish Dancers in Blue Ash, Lisbon, with Local 12 News. Wow, they're good. That walk is Saturday morning at Kings Island. You can still join in or support a team. Go to local12.com. Kenny Durking will be there. And Local 12 is a proud sponsor of this event.